and gentlemen, boys and girls, I give you the Pelinat C3000, a, stereo <laughs> a stereotypic villain made for your myopic vision. Are you convinced jihadis represent Islam? Do you think the Ku Klux Klan speaks for Christianity? And are you wondering how best to avoid the gender debate that's gripping the nation? Then boy is the, I mean girl, is the Feminine C3000 for you. The Feminine C3000 comes with its own three decorated face, war paint made from the blood of vanquished enemies and melted lipstick. Because if the Feminine C3000 is going to wear makeup, it's not going to be for a man and it sure as hell is going to be the right thing. <laughs> Program actions. It will burn bras in the exact way it doesn't burn calories. They say people living in glass houses shouldn't throw stones, but if that house has a glass ceiling, the Feminazi 3000 comes with excellent aim. In addition, the Feminazi 3000 also comes frequently with a screen. It exclusively masturbates, reminding you that women don't need men for pleasure and it would sooner be. Are, inev are inevitably the winner, which is what counts, right? You will constantly feel you deserve a pat on the back, which you do. Just don't ask the feminine Z3000 is good for you. Good. And remember, countries have a non-negotiation policy with terrorists for a reason, because while you choose to be distracted by the fact that the feminine Z3000 is ugly and single and lives with her cat and gets a 5 o'clock shadow by 2 p.m., whenever you decide to take her seriously, you're setting back the equality movement a few hundred years in a couple of seconds easy. Those feminists say they feel like Sisyphus, but we all know they're just kicking up a sissy first, right? Most of all, most of all, the Feminazi 3000 lets you forget, lets you turn the other way, lets you remain ignorant to the small but scary things. How somewhere down the line, doing it for yourself began to mean not doing it for a man and you could no longer do both. How, when Katniss Everdeen volunteered to die in her sister's place, we call a basic, ordinary act of human love a bold, bold, brave statement of female strength, lowering the bar for feminism without even realizing what we've done. How, even if 140 million girls didn't have their clitoris carved out with stainless steel to never sin by feeling pleasure ever, how, even if they didn't, it would make little difference because no one will tell those girls to sit with their legs spread wide in front of a full-length mirror and find out what exactly is down there in that Bermuda Triangle of Skin and Darkness. Yeah. No, no, one, no one will tell them this is your vagina and it does more than popping out babies. No one told you either. No, seriously, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, boys who identify as girls and girls who identify as boys, cisgenders, transgenders and everyone in between, we hold these lies to be self-evident, right? We hold these lies to be self-evident that women were created more equal than men and only those endowed with a vagina have certain unalienable rights and these rights exist in direct opposition to those not circumcision that men can be reduced to mere pinpricks of patriarchy with penises and that the wrongs done to us can be made right by wronging others. We hold these lies. We hold these lies to be self-evident, don't we? Well, if you don't know the answer to that or you don't want to know the answer to that, the Feminazi 3000 is for you. Because why engage when you can outrage? <laughs>